Hello everybody, we are in Microsoft Windows 10 and I am going to show you how to change ports on your printers. Sometimes you end up with the wrong port and it won't print, so I'll show you how to fix that. Let's go ahead and start by going to the bottom left hand corner where the, the little window is. Right click on that and let's choose Control Panel. Now once we're in Control Panel, if you don't see the, what I see, go ahead and uh, look at the View By option. Hit the drop down and change from Category to Large or Small Icons. From here we will click on Devices and Printers. So scroll down if you don't see your printer in there until you find it and let's uh, look for the one that probably has the green check mark which is our default device. Right click on that and choose Printer Properties. From here we're going to want to click on the Ports tab. Now you're going to see a lot of different ports. A lot of these don't mean anything anymore, such as LPT, COM ports. Hardly anybody uses those for printing anymore. Most everybody uses either USB or a network printer. So in this case, we're using a network printer. And what I'm going to do is change this to use a, uh, an IP address instead. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Add Port. I'm going to choose Standard TCP IP Port. Click New Port. From here, we're going to see a wizard pop up, and it's going to ask for the name or IP address. So we don't have a DNS server on this computer, so we'll just go ahead and choose an IP address. Now, this is an IP address that I've already programmed into the printer. Otherwise, this wouldn't go anywhere. So you have to go to your, your printers. Either they have a built-in web page, or you can go into the printer's display, and that's going to be a different video, and then you can go in and change the IP address from there. All right, first thing it's going to do is it's going to try to detect that printer port by trying to communicate with it. If it cannot communicate with it, then it will just default to the next stage. So in this particular case, since it didn't come up, we should probably go check our printer and make sure that the IP address matches. But we'll just go ahead and keep on going. You have an option for a generic network card, or you can choose any one of a thousand different uh, uh, printer uh, type of cards. Generic, 99% of the time, almost always works, so just go ahead and choose that. All right, we'll go ahead and click Finish, and we'll click Close. And now our standard TCP IP port is showing up. It's showing up checked, and we can click Apply, and we can go ahead and test our printing. If we decide we don't like that one, we can just go ahead and check the old one, and then it'll be right back to where it was.